Welcome to Wake Up With God. We live stream daily Mass today. We attend the Holy Mass on Wednesday, 29th, May 2024. Wednesday of week 8 in ordinary time. Whenever anyone obeys what Christ has said, God's love comes to perfection in him. Please keep quiet and concentrate on attending the Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, the readings of today invite us to trust in God, to trust in His providence. And for the times you and I have failed to trust in His providence, let's humbly ask Lord's pardon. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by a peaceful rule, and that your church may rejoice, untroubled in her devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of Saint Peter. Beloved, concerning the salvation of your souls, the prophets who prophesied about the grace that was to be yours searched and investigated it, investigating the time and circumstances that the Spirit of Christ within them indicated when it testified in advance to the sufferings destined for Christ and the glories to follow them. It was revealed to them that they were serving not themselves, but you. With regard to the things that have now been announced to you by those who preached the good news to you through the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels longed to look. Therefore, gird up the loins of your mind, live soberly, and set your hopes completely on the grace to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Like obedient children, do not act in compliance with the desires of your former ignorance, but as he who called you is holy. Be holy yourselves in every aspect of your conduct, for it is written, Be holy because I am holy. The Word of the Lord The Lord has made known His salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. 
The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter began to say to Jesus, We have given up everything and followed you. Jesus said, Amen. I say to you, there is no one who has given up house or brothers or sisters or mother, or father, or children, or lands, for my sake and for the sake of the gospel, who will not receive a hundred times more now in this present age, houses, and brothers, and sisters, and mothers, and children, and land, with persecutions and eternal life in the age to come. But many that are first will be last, and the last will be first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon to all of you. The beautiful Gospel of this afternoon reminds us for the reward for all those of us who have committed their lives in some way or the other to the church and to the kingdom. In my own life, I can testify this 100%, 100%, sorry for saying this. My family, my parents, my sibling and everybody else is so blessed from the time I joined the seminary. And when I say blessed, I don't merely say financially blessed. Of course, also financially, but spiritually, emotionally, and in every way. And then, today's gospel, I am able to relate to it so much. Because I have seen it happening in my own life. Peter, as you know, is a person full of emotions. He doesn't think much. He talks from his heart. He goes to Jesus and says, Lord, what about us? We have given up everything. Give something for us. And then Jesus makes a beautiful promise to him. But Jesus does not stop there. What Jesus is reminding Peter is this. To trust in the divine providence of God. To trust in the divine providence of God. To trust that God will take care of us. That God will be the one who will provide for us. When the time is right, he will give it to us. When the time is right, he will give more than you and I can ask for. More than you can I can imagine. God will give it to us. The question is, 
do we trust him do we trust him my dear friends when we look at the life of don bosco the one single word that stands out in his life is his trust in divine providence you look at his life there was time when the holy father asked him you build the basilica of sacred heart and when the holy father the pope asked him to build this basilica john john bosco don bosco immediately said yes and when he came back to the convent his fathers of don bosco said you are a crazy man are you gone out of your head here we are we do not have money to buy bread for our boys we have not paid the bill of the bread man he is threatening there to stop the supply of bread tomorrow onwards and are you going to collect millions to build up this basilica you must be crazy don bosco smiles and says trust in divine providence trust in divine providence my dear friends trust in god and trusting in his providence is a wonderful thing my wish from deep down is that each one of you sitting here in this congregation may experience the boundless love of god to experience god's generosity when god gives he does not count may you experience his generosity provided you and i have trust in him not merely with this words that i am speaking when i mean trust trust from deep within may you and i have this grace to trust in the divine providence to trust in the providence of god always saint john bosco aware of the danger in putting our trust in the pleasure of this world we lift up our hearts in fervent prayer to the father let our response after every intercession be lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer that the church throughout the world may be an effective sign of the way to everlasting happiness and eternal life let us pray to the lord lord hear that we may learn to trust in spiritual values which enrich our being and not in material possessions which bring discontent to our souls let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that we may never close our hearts to those in need but consciously involve ourselves in Christ's work of healing and reconciling let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that the sick and the disabled may experience the lord's care through the love of their neighbors and friends let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that our deceased relatives and friends may enjoy god's peace in heaven let us pray to the lord lord heavenly father look with compassion on the needy enlighten our lives with your truth and give us the grace to live out the high ideals put before us by your son jesus christ who lives and reigns with you forever and ever amen
it will become a spiritual thing. Pray, dear friends, the sacrifice of yours and mine may be acceptable to Lord God the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, who provide the gifts to be offered to your name and count the oblation as signs for our desire to serve you with devotion, we ask for your mercy that what you grant us as a source of merit may also help us to attain merit's reward. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as to your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so, it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we do extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We are now about to begin the most holy part of this Eucharist, when Christ himself will come down on this altar. At this moment, let's place our hearts completely at the Lord's feet on this altar. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when suppose ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which he poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that the is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may gather into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your peace. Have mercy on each one of us gathered here this afternoon, we pray, 
that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with saint joseph a spouse with the blessed apostles saint john bosco and all the saints have done you in throughout the ages merit to be coest to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him with him and in him O God the almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Deliver us, O Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, "Peace I leave you, my peace I give you." Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us now, with a smile on our face, greet one another with Lord's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him. Who takes away the sins of the world? It is the same Lord who invites each one of us to trust in Him, to have confidence in Him completely. Happy are those who are called to the supper of this Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ not be condemnation, heart and mind and body, but save me for eternal life. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by the same sacrament with which you have fed us in present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father. Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The mass is ended. Go forth in the love of 
Christ. Thanks be to God. Sa Don Bosco Masaya, Sama Sama. Cảm ơn các bạn đã xem video. Nếu thấy hay, hãy nhấn like, đăng ký kênh và comment để ủng hộ chúng mình nhé.